Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Jessie and today I am going to talk about A Whole New World by Liz Braswell. If you've been on my channel for a while, I've been going through all the Disney Twisted Tales from when they were released as movies, not as when they were re released with the books. The last one that I reviewed was A Tale as Old as Time, and that was the Beauty and the Beast version. Now this is a whole new world, and this is what if Aladdin had never found the lamp. If you don't know a lot about the Disney Twisted Tales, they're basically Disney's version of what if. And so this one takes a portion of the movie and changes it from that point going forward whereas in the past it could have been the end where as in part of your world which is the little mermaid and that one completely changes like the end of the movie or it could have been like conceal don't feel which i've read and it could change the course of the entire movie which is a couple of them. This one kind of starts off a little bit like Conceal Little Feel or A Tale as Old as Time or Straight On Till Morning. This is one of the ones that changes the entire course of the movie. So in this one, we meet Aladdin, we meet his mom, and we also get to know a little bit more about his dad, his living situation, and it basically gives you a little bit of a prequel and then it jumps into the movie and then from the point where Abu is supposed to take the lamp from Jafar slash the old man, that's not what happens. Jafar actually gets the lamp at that point and he doesn't just want the lamp to be the Sultan. He wants the lamp to find a book and this book is supposed to give him a lot of power that because he's a sorcerer he's he wants this power we get more characters in this one which is I think one of my favorite things about these books is that we get new characters we get characters that fit so seamlessly into these worlds books that were not originally in the movie or anything like that. They're brand new characters. And in this one, it's a brand new group of characters that Aladdin used to run around with, and they're thieves. But they're not just thieves, they're a family. And that's what makes this one so great. And then also with this one, we also get a different look at Jasmine. She's a lot more than she is in the movie. She definitely becomes her own and she's very strong-willed in the movie and that is shown tenfold in this book. Something happens to her father. Her father isn't the Sultan anymore. Jafar is the Sultan and so Jasmine is imprisoned and she runs away and the people of Agrabah find out that she's run away but she's still there. She's still trying to fight for her kingdom and the people of Agrabah stand behind her and try to fight against Jafar. This one is very action-packed compared to a couple of the other ones that I've read recently. This one has more action I would think than the one previously that I read which was A Tale as Old as Time. It has a lot more in it than just Aladdin trying to get the lamp back. He's not trying to get the lamp back. They're trying to get the lamp away from Jafar so that they can put everything right. And I love Liz Braswell's writing and this was one of the first that I ever read. So this was a reread for me. It was a lot better rereading it for me because the first time that I read this one, I read a majority of it and then I just stopped. It had nothing to do with the book. I think I just put it down and I forgot about it because my kids were little. So this time I started at the beginning and then I reread it and it flowed a lot better this time than it did the first time that I read it because I didn't stop and take months on end or year or whatever to pick this one up again and read it. So this one definitely had a better flow the second time reading it and I also listened to this one. I didn't 
read it. I listened to it, which was really fun for me because the first time I read it, I physically read it with my eyes and then this time I listened to it which was a lot of fun because I love read listening to these it's a great way for me to get through the book and also try a different medium to consume these books and I think maybe that kind of heightened my enjoyment with it whereas when I listened to part of your world I listened to that one the second time instead of reading it and I loved it the first time I read it with my eyes and then the second time I listened to it and I didn't love it as much whereas in this one I loved it more than I did the first time. Who is this book for? This book is for I would say anybody who loves the original Aladdin or even the new live action Aladdin. I also think this is for anybody who loves Disney. If you want just a different twist, you know, pun intended of this story, then I would highly recommend this book. I would, you know, definitely the nice thing about these books is that you go in and you're not expecting the traditional story. And that is one thing that I really, really like with these books. You go in, you have your what if, you have your question of, you know, and then you go in and you're like, how is this going to be answered? How are they going to twist or morph this question into making things different? It's just so interesting to me how these authors and I guess I want to know, like, who gives them this question? You know, is it something that the authors come up with? Is it something that Disney gives them? Is it just, like, where does this come from? And who decides that? Because I think it's just so interesting to see these different questions and how they twist these different, you know, true classic movies that we all love into something different and then we still love them. The ones that I haven't really liked are movies that aren't my favorites, but I can still look at them and say these were very well written. If you're not a true fan, then they might not be like 100%. They might be like a three or a very high, you know, very low four, but you can still enjoy them for what they are and the story that these authors produce. So that's all I have to say about this one. Please go check it out. It is by Liz Braswell. It is a whole new world. And this is the cover that I chose, or actually I was gifted this cover. This was my very first Disney Twisted Tale. And I am a sucker for these covers. I love these covers and that is why I will always try to get these covers because this is what I started with. But that is a different tangent, all of it itself. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to comment, leave me a comment down below if you've read this. If you don't want to leave a wordy comment, if you just want to let me know that you're here, please just give me a lamp. And I will see you in the next one.